man, what can we tell about the trial later on? On, like, two other folks died protecting her. <laughs> Oof. We've done what we can. This for the village of Palakistan to perform the funeral rites. If nothing else, Mevan and Krisar died as they live, as themselves. And not as beasts. Their soul will find peace in the Astro Sea. To think the day will come when even the smallest of solace would be discomforting. And if only. Okay, I need to I want to talk to you. Oh, I need to talk to Istinning now. Simple pleasures. You ready then? Yes, we are. In that case, let's head to the Palakstan. No doubt Vitra is waiting us. Or awaiting us, I mean. Wait, so would the bodies will still be here after I finish the quest? I wonder. A little heartbreaking though. Oh, may I just teleport there? Save time. Alright. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I just came here and Vitra is just standing right in front of the door. Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsu returned with the baby safe in his arms, owing to a warm bed. The girl hate, hoped, already began to regain her strength. Less joyous we see was word of the mother and father's fate, as well as that their transform, transform neighbors. How many children of Chavanir must we lose this calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Every death, another void that can never be filled. We who survived them must carry on the weight of their memories as we strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Krefar and Mayhem's baby is a child of Tevnir as well. I thank you for returning her to us safe. No problem. Oh, oh, most great and merciful wire. I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say not worried for you. Brave Matsu and the child would have been lost to us forever. Long I haven't heard rumors that a mighty dragon had forged a pack and friendship with the strap. But never would I expect such a kind and gentle so. Truth in part, but not in the whole. I am Vitra, and for years unaccounted, hot this isle serve as my abode. An isle I have ruled over as a strap, with Avarine as my loyal servant. Unfortunately, he's dead now. Are my ears to be believed? You weren't the true strap all along? Nidia, what are you doing here? Well, she could probably put the pieces together, you know, where she had the scales and whatnot. And huge commodities of it, too. I heard from the Radiant that you have gone to help the people of Palak stand in your stead of need. Well, in their time of need. And so, I and several of my colleagues from the Great Work came to offer our services. 
The alchemists have already brewed, brewed up some potions for Mayhem's daughter. But enough about us. You and the rule are a far greater enigma. If you were the true staff all along, could it be that young Varsahan was created to serve as your emissary? Though Dan suspected the boy was but a simclerum. Simclerum? Simclerum? A rumor has circulated for many years around the High Crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Strapped family in secret to fashion a marmot indistinguishable from a living boy. Hmm. Looking at Vazran with that knowledge, I simply put the two and two together. I was not long in drawing this conclusion, but like me, there are no doubt recognized that the strap was using a Symbicularum work more closely with his people, and decide not to pass the issue. I've always assumed one of the unranged associates was manipulating it from afar, though the truth is indeed far more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in the fresh, Master, M Master Vitra. Please allow me to express my gratitude. No, no. If you had not believed me in giving us into our skills, I do not know where it would be. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Does thou and only thy fellow alchemists have fashioned the means to unmake the towers? You were the savior, not only of Razahan, but the star itself. Far too kind you are, Master Vitra, but the stars yet wa once for salvation. Once more, will my colleagues and I will commit to the knowledge and resources at your disposal, to the mission to aid the people in their darkness of hour. Do we seem this place is in good hands? I will return to see how Razahan fares. Will you do so, Scions? I worry for the survivor we met at Perusa. Uh, Perusa. 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 Shall we pay them a visit before we make our way back? In that case, I might ask a favor. Not you do bothersome, I promise. This way. Hopefully it is not of a complicated um, favor, but given the fact that we saved them all, I just, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt I'll help them for something. Okay, we're here at the fire pit. Interesting. Alright, I'm back. So, unfortunately, I had to do another jump cut here because I had to do a few things downstairs, and that wasn't something I wasn't expecting. I keep forgetting on Sundays there has to be a few things I have to do downstairs, so unfortunately, I've forgotten about it, but now at least I had it done and over with, so. We can finally resume on this recording. So, Nidia, what do you have us doing here in this campsite? Need a sooner just a bit longer, I say. In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. Red Sky, these terrible beasts! What in the name of the sisters is happening in the Travenir? Well, about that... Oh my! That's a rather lot to take in, given the fact that like, it only happened in a matter of like what? A minute or two or five minutes? It's like, damn. It's like a lot of it's like a lot of information to take in at the one <laughs> brief moment. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use the knowledge and see if it can further our own research. And with that, here we are, a pot of piping hot chai, brewed with my own secret recipes, and tea leaves, together with a hearty helping of rich milk and a purist of sugar. I made enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? 
The drink has medical properties then? Not in the least. The ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty. Though... And it has a way of lifting the spirits. Giving the fact they really need this now. The spice aroma and the distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple, everyday pleasure on our island. Sometimes, the best mention is the simplest. A lovely sentimento. Nidia, by all means, allow us to assist. Alright, we're gonna give this harp warm chai soup tea to everyone in the village to pop up their spirits. While you lock the stupid hot beverage, I'll do a sweep of the errant beasts to slay a far less arduous task. No doubt when you're finished, look for me at the wakeful Toronda. Okay, Instillion. Alright, I have to give around this uh, hot beverage to everyone to lift their damn spirits. Look at them all lazing about, knowing full well the beast might strike you at any moment. Do they not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I for one intend to survive. I am too young to die. Yes, I'll leave this island before I if I must. But where do I go? Or where should I go? Is every safe these days? Well, not at the moment, but here's some hot chai tea to calm the nerves. A cup of chai? Can't you see I have more interesting things to worry about? No, no, you're right. It is precisely the time like this that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll visit the elder and see what needs to be done. If there's any way I can f aid my village and my friends, I will do it. Oh, there's looking for the brighter future. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the Chocobo. F Bri bro um, Chocobo Keeper to get him out of my hay. There we go. Now we need to find another villager. Whaley Citizen. Hey, was this the guy that said he just wanted to leave him in peace? Probably. Hmm? Wait. I know you. You're the one who saved us from the blue beast back at the temple. We're not for you. Well, not even think about that. At times like this, we must dwell not on what we've seen, what might have been, but look into the future. But what future awaits us? How can Razahan hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone. I don't know where to turn. But before thinking all that, have some nice hot chai that will calm your nerves. A cup of chai? Well, if you insist. Ah, uh, that aroma has the way of car clearing the mind. Got to think of it. We face our fair share of trials in the past as well. And no matter how hard the times, we always come together as people united. One day at a time, one step at a time. For that is all else we can do. Yes, back to work. Once I finish this cup, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. But if you really want to thank something, take Didia because she's the one that made the chai tea. Alright, so I need to find one more person. Oh, there he is. Okay, found him. I mean, found her. I'm sorry. I... I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I... We fled the village together. One of the beasts took him... And... And... It was all I could do to run. And all the while, I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. In that case, here's some chai tea to calm your nerves. Even though I don't think it will actually help, but at least something. Hmm. This is for me? Ah, uh, we used to drink chai together often, sharing stories over a steamy cup of our hard day's work. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, 
but I must press all the same. For his memory, and for who we must remember. Alright. Okay, next, let's talk to DDR once more, and look at that! Two blue quest markers to do. Thank you for delivering the chai. Artorias, did they help lift the villagers' spirits? Well, kind of. Some of them are... Well, not all of them. Like, maybe one or two will have their most... Most of the spirits lifted, but... The others will take a while before their wounds heal. That is heartening to hear, indeed. The final day shows no sign of abiting. But that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. Unless, you know, have a mythical Dragon Ball to bring them back to life. <laughs> Damn, if there was the if that was actually a thing. These tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. But we have the capacity to live with our suffering. To carry the agony till we join the fallen in death. It is not a surrender, but a recognition. But it's only the acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. Cheer to that, and we got some chai. Um, no, Tash Tisao to Vonro. It's a crafting drink. Oh, okay. Nice. And then the next one is Under His Wing. As you have finished your deliveries, may I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know what has become of Maven and Quiffer's remains. Oh yeah, we just kind of left them behind, right? We didn't bury them, so I hope not like, a random monster just gobbled them up. Oh, thank you, friend. Should we be able to rest peacefully by each other's side? I and the people of Palakstan will perform the rite as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her to grow up with her parents, but I will promise to do so what I can. W once she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help her nourish her. Well, we finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. I could almost believe there was a magic at work. How the tension fades well with every single sip. Let's us pray that Palakstan has seen the last of those transformations. At least for now. They are still at risk, as every villager in Tavernier, like us not, still. I trust we can leave this place in the care of their friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Razahan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who have need of our wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from Akyali. Aki, Aki, we have plenty to spare. Alright then. Then let us find this thing and be on our way. Where did he want her off to again? Well, he said he was gonna slay some monsters around, so I don't think it'd be too much to what too much tracking down needed for him. The Waku Fotora? Near the bridge to Rasahan? As I recall. Very well then. Alright, let's make our way back there. Take care, Nadia. And oh boy, even more quests popped out. Jesus, a lot more. I will come back and do this once I finish recording for sure. All right, we're back up here with the stealing is. Alpha had told me everything. Full glad I hear the people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. To see you finish off the last of them. For now, at least. 
Trying times yet lie ahead of the people of Javanir. Fortunately, they have a wise and beloved strap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Tankri not a short while ago. He is awaiting our return to the city of Azahel Path. Come! Alright, let's go in Stinian. At least they have no brigade, they're barbing our way. I should have saved my sprint before coming inside, but oh well. Alright, thank Creed. We did save a nice village, although not all of the villagers were saved, but at least a good majority of them survived. It's good to see you safe. Given the skies, it's all too easy to, to fear the worst. I'm pleased to report that we succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been fled, fleed, fled, and the citizens are safe for now. I also heard from the raid that the important population will be made in the city square, though they said no more than that. Do you have any idea what this is about? I'm pretty sure this is Vitra saying that he's going to be revealing his identity to his people now, given the fact that he is a uh, what do you call it? What's the correct term? His proxy is not uh, available at the moment since he's dead and everything. So, Vidra has finally come from behind the curtains. I suppose we too should hear what he has to say. To Meghida, then. But before that, it appears that the word of the MC has not yet reached all of the citizens. If anyone along has seemed, un seemed unaware, we best enlighten them. Alright. Looks like we need to spread the word. Uh, okay, we, I guess we can... I don't think I need to take the stairs. Do I? I think I do. Oh, no, right over here. <laughs> Derp. Uh, uh, are the bees all gone? I've been hiding, and I'm too scared to go out and look. Don't worry, ma'am. Everything is all well and cool. We took care of the bees and everything. Oh, -ho! that's a relief. I thought one of those bees were just going to eat me. I wonder where Valhan is. He's the slow, slow as runners. I hope he got away. Hmm. He could be one of the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Well, hopefully. Alright, next one. I don't know if this is me or this guy is using a macro to not get locked out from the game. I don't know. It's very suspicious. He just keeps jumping up and down so often. Well, if he's still here when I get back, then I'm pretty sure he's a bot. Oh, no, a bot. Like, he did, like, some kind of, like, macro or, pro or third party program to make him stay logged in in the game. Okay, spare Spook. You. Spook. You. Leave me be, please. I swear to you. My friend's taste is absolutely terrible. Um. You do know I am human. Well, not really human, but I'm a, a raw, so I don't really eat human beings. Unless there are certain raw raws out there that does. Oh gods! What are you doing, scaring me like that? If we're if you're not quiet, those bees will find us. But about that, we quell majority. Oh, not majority. Like make 
all the beasts in the palace, so you're okay now not to be afraid. The square, you see? But that where the strap was killed. With my very eyes, I saw him crushed in that creature's maw. So many lives lost. Such terrible carnage. And you say there is someone else who will lead Lassahan in his in his stead? Wherever they are, if they say anything to solid in the memory of our beloved strap, I'll make them regret it. Oh, okay then, but you'll be surprised that the next strap will be a big ass dragon, so I don't know how you'll be able to, you know, do any harm to him. Thank you guys for watching my recording session for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker's main MXQ. And if you have any comments, put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It's very much appreciated. And if you are curious on whatever I upload on my YouTube channel, you can give it a look. And if you're curious on getting in touch on what I upload, you can subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon. And of course, I have projects that are going on my channel, which is our right now Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSK Broadcast, Dropkick's Minions, Mounts, anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly, which will be Freight Grand Order, Lost Bill 4, 5, the um, events, the challenge quests, and anything that are related to Freight Grand Order. And lastly, which will be Purse Turn of 5, the Royal. Whenever the existence of actually starting to record that again will be in the near future. And that. This has been Ravensleep45, take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy XIV day.